Um, your, your generation has been named the greatest generation. What values do you think contributed to this? Well, I am just a wife of this great generation. However, I honor each and every one of them every day because I come here to visit my husband every day. Um, I'm sorry you couldn't interview him because he has issues um, that are, I guess, deep-rooted, like some of them just cannot get over these feelings. And I pity the ones that are coming home today because they, too, are going to have to carry these things through their life. And although he tried very, very hard, they still get to him sometimes. They get to me sometimes, and we don't even talk about it. We just see it. And, um, and I'm very proud. I'm very, very proud to be an American, and especially to, to see all those guys that have made this country so wonderful and so free every day. What about living in America today do you treasure the most? Um, the freedom. I carry a bag that the uh, disabled American veterans had sent to Jack, and it says, freedom is not free. And believe me, as, I, as this might touch many, many hearts, I need to impress on them that freedom is not free. You work at it every day, and some of them carry the scars for keeping this country free. What message from your experience would you like to share with members of the Central Florida community and future generations uh, about Memorial Day? Well, I have a poem, and I have said this poem for many, many years because my father was also in the American Legion and very, very patriotic. And it was he that taught me and my sisters to say this. And I would like to share that with as many people are going to view this, this video. And it's called The Unknown Soldier. There's a grave right near the White House where the unknown soldier lies. And the and the flowers there are sprinkled with tears from mother's eyes. I stood there not so long ago with flowers for the grave, when suddenly I thought I heard a voice speak from the grave. I am the unknown soldier, the spirit voice began, and I think I've got a right to ask a question, man to man. Are my buddies taken care of? Was their victory so sweet? Or is that big reward they promised to selling pencils on the street? Does the gold star in the window now mean anything at all? I wonder how my old gal feels when she hears a bugle call and a baby that sang, Hello Central, give me no man's land. Can they replace her daddy with a military band? Are the ones that planned this all satisfied? They played their game of checkers, and 11 million died. Oh, I'd like to see their faces when they reach the devil's door. But even in hell, there's no torture such as war. I am the unknown soldier, and maybe I died in vain. But if I were alive and my country called, I'd do it all over again. Thank you very much for speaking with us today and sharing your memorabilia and your poem with us for Memorial Day. Thank you. Hollywood. Such a good My favorite song. I was this high when my father taught.